Hello, and welcome to Madam Prudence's self-help series. Today's episode will be how to host the perfect afternoon tea. Before we delve into the do's and don'ts, we must learn a bit about the history. The English tradition of afternoon tea was created by Anna, the Duchess of Bedford. The lapse between the afternoon meal and evening meal left her quite famished, so she began secretly having tea and scones in her chambers to suppress her appetite. Soon she began to invite a few friends and family to this event, and in time, everyone in England began to follow suit. Today, the art of afternoon tea is down to a ritual. Before we can host a tea, we need a host. How about you? Me? Yes, you. Good graces, my dear. That is no way to be dressed for tea. But it's comfortable! A Victorian lady wouldn't dare be seen in public without a gown. And because you are the host, you're going to need something a little more dressy. Perhaps something satin, silk, or lace. Don't forget a nice hat and gloves to protect the hands from the elements. Breathtaking. Now that you're dressed, it's time to invite the guests. Whatever are you doing? Inviting the guests. A tea event always calls for handwritten invitations to each guest on parchment paper, detailing the date and time of the tea. A typical afternoon tea will have three to six guests. Lovely! Oh, this will never do! A proper tea wouldn't be possible without the correct supplies. Of course you'll need a tea set, preferably sterling silver, complete with a teapot, tea cups, saucers, tea tray, sugar bowl, waste bowl, cream pitcher, and tea caddy. Silverware, plates, and bowls for tea treats should also be made available. A clean tablecloth and linen napkins are an absolute must. For a special touch, add a fresh bouquet or a pair of candlesticks to add to the ambiance. Perfect! Now time for my personal favorite, the tea and treats. Whatever are you doing? Eating the treats? No, no, no. Tea snacks for afternoon tea are usually light, such as small sandwiches, biscuits, cakes, and seasonal fresh fruit. And they are eaten off a plate, of course. Ah, oh, the guests are here! Greet them at the door with a handshake and invite them inside. Hello! Well, hello, darling! Come on in! Come on, come on in! guests have arrived, it's time for the preparation of the tea. High quality black tea is very appropriate for an afternoon tea. Tea is prepared by bringing fresh water to a boil in a kettle. Boiling water is poured into the teapot, then poured out. Now add loose tea into the pot before adding more boiling water. Always add one spoon of tea to the pot per person, then one more for the pot. Allow the tea to brew for two to five minutes before serving each guest. It is the hostess's honor to pour the tea for each guest. Milk or cream should always be added to the teacup before the tea to prevent it from cracking. Sugar is added as desired. A few quick etiquette do's and don'ts. Do be gracious and polite. Thank you, ma'am. Make pleasant, light-hearted conversation. Lovely weather we're having. Indeed. Wear gloves at all times. Don't <laughs> open your mouth while chewing. Make noises. Make grand gestures. So once I was walking in the park and I saw a big dog. Adorable. Play with a cat or dog at the table. Complain about the food. So how's the food? Delicious. Pick your teeth with the silverware. <laughs> Wipe your hands on the tablecloth. Gossip. So did you hear about Madame Selena and Mr. Bieber over there? And hold up the teacup and salsa at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> By following these steps, I hope you have the most successful and pleasant of afternoon teas. Thanks, Matt.
Madam Prudence. Always welcome, ladies. Toodaloo.